Do you like white noise? Do I ever? Wait, what? But I wonder what happens if you put a blast beat on it. Seriously, somebody stop him! And that's how Noise Core was made. <laughs> noise Core is exactly what you think it is when you hear the name for the first time. It takes the basic elements of Grindcore and makes it even more raw, chaotic, and lo-fi. Which, considering Grindcore, is a feat to be sure. But this Grindcore bastard child is not your regular crybaby with daddy issues. This genre is untamed, extremely wild, and unpredictable. Noisecore came around the same time as Grindcore during the tape trading days, where bands would just record their Grindcore song on a tape recorder and accidentally leave the gain on Max. Why don't you just go to a studio and make non-shite music? But this one goes to 12. It's basically grindcore with no mixing, no filters, no limiter, and no boundaries. It's like danger music, but the only real danger is to your speakers if you got the volume too high up. Some notable bands are Tranquilizer, Seven Minutes of Nausea, Sore Throat, Anal Cunt, and a bunch of other bands I've never heard of, but all of you will gladly remind me they exist in the comment section. I also know Japan has a massive noise rock scene, but less name dropping, more fun facts! If you take Napalm Death, you suffer into your DAW, add a distortion, garage reverb, and increase the volume, it becomes the blueprint for every noise core song ever. But that's the easy tutorial, and I'm gonna give you the Unabridged the Bridge Guide. <laughs> Starting with the band name, you need something that will stand out, but it's so disgusting that no one can talk about you without getting weird looks at a party. Yeah, I'm in a band. It, it, we're, like, we're in a pretty famous band, it's called Anal Grenade. Yeah, I think we're gonna get pretty big now. Like, we have a new album coming out, Death of a Thousand Fetuses. Yeah, we got a new song, Hitting Grandma Part 2. I think it's gonna be a smash hit. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a good title. My mom loves it. If you can, find a way to add that anti-music logo into your band name. For the album cover, find an artist who can draw something horrid on the cheap. My god, that's gonna give me nightmares. Alternatively, find some photos and add that pencil effect on it. Then just slap your band name all over it. It's not working! But now for the music! Well, since the music literally just sounds like it's being played inside a garbage can and has no music theory at all, we're just gonna learn some basic noise terminology. I call them explosions and stabs. Those are not the official names, but for the sake of brevity, let's just use those as a quick example. The explosion is basically the band playing at the same time to get that powerful punch. But it's mostly just a blast beat that's been deep fried. Stabs is when the band plays something rhythmically and then pauses in between. For example, you can play three stabs, pause, four stabs, pause, then roll up dice or two for some new stab number. And then you got a song. Noise core musicians also use samples. Not only movie dialogue, but sometimes music samples to add a comical tone to their tracks. If you're expecting something along the lines of music theory, good luck. Most noise core bands just repeat these two elements. Like there's nothing I can hear in these songs that give a good indication of what they're actually playing. But yeah, clearly noise core musicians know more than I do. Like, I say. This noise core sure is swell, is it not, my friend? Oh yeah, you can clearly hear this is a three thousand dollar Les Paul guitar. You can hear it through the string clutter. Also, you can hear that the cymbals are made of the finest mammoth tusk. Indeed. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about lyrics. Noise core can go one way or the other. You can go with your political views, core fetish, or tonal nonsense. But for the most part, several noisecore bands don't write lyrics. Instead, they follow the holy steps of noisecore lyrics. It's so easy, even I can do it. Observe. Step 1. Scream. <coughs> Step 2. Echo this action until the end of the piece. You can also add the screams on explosions and stabs to further add more impact. But again, there's no dynamics, so good luck. <coughs> If you have a basement with a drum set and a guitar amp, then you're already way ahead of me. Just get three friends to play and record on your phone. But I'm an antisocial loner with no musical friends. Or a basement. Oh well, software it is. Oh, software, never leave me! Well, now you're just teasing me. Noisecore musicians also like to keep their songs short. And I know I keep saying that this extreme genre has short songs and I end up writing a minute and a half long song. Ugh. 
but this time I'm gonna follow the song length and keep my song under 30 seconds. But I also don't want the video to be 95% tutorial. So I wrote 8 songs. 1 intro, 6 tracks and an outro. Before we start the tutorial, let me explain my thought process. For track 1, I wanted to add voice sample that served as an opener, so I sampled the Grinch. More specifically, the noise, noise. Get it? It's noise. Then I just recorded my washing machine and added layers upon layers of effect. Then I tapped on my guitar with some delay to create a nice atmosphere for an opener. Which got lost in the mix, but screw it. For song 1 and 2, I did some stabs and explosions. For track 3, I sampled Giant Step. But to avoid copyright, I used the MIDI version. Moved it a few steps up and used a cheap piano and clarinet for the instruments. Then I just threw in some random explosions and stabs. It's all high effort shitposting. Track 4, 5, and 6, well that's gonna be a disappointing surprise, like the other videos on this channel that is in this series. Anyway, the tutorial part! Set the tempo to FAST! Well that works too, I guess. As long as it's over 200. Get your drum minion and find a good drum set. Appreciate it while it sounds good. Remove some cymbals and toms, you don't need that much clutter. Now add distortion on the drum set and set the dry wet to somewhere in the middle. For the guitar, add a distortion pedal, and ALL THE GAME! Turn off the gate and regret that decision. My ears are bleeding! Optional, add bass, add distortion pedal, ALL THE GAME! For vocals, follow the steps and NEVER GO ASTRAY FROM THE FORMULA! Okay, this next step is very important. Do you see that thing on the volume that turns red when it hits the roof? That means you're doing it right. Okay, now get composing. Do all the fun stuff. Explosions, stabs, scream. Yeah. All the fun stuff. In between the stabs, keep that sweet, sweet guitar feedback. <laughs> After composing, add your extra stuff. White noise, movie dialogue. More noise stuff, musical samples, and your dignity. Shit, I lost my dignity. We're mixing. Ha! And now you have your first couple of noise core songs. Feel free to add as many as possible. Anyway, time for the embarrassment.
Congratulations! You are a top-tier garage rockin' noise-making overly unpolished noisecore artist. Now publish those songs on Bandcamp and watch those plays increase and let your fan base try to find a deeper meaning that isn't there. Oh hell yeah. Any day now. Dee 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 dee.